Long time no see everyone, it's your old mate Jakargon back at it again, this time with part 5 of what is now known as building my capsule wardrobe. So finally, this series has a proper name, fashion style evolution thing, doesn't really work. So after speaking with uh, a couple of friends, it really felt like I was building a capsule wardrobe. Actually something that somebody in the comments said on the first video, I figured why not call it that? So each of these videos is going to be me expanding and building on that capsule and they're going to be also more like haul or pickups type video. Not really a haul because I don't get all that many items at once, but let's call them pickups. So let's get into it. So from the last video, we just picked up the Doc Martin Darbies, the Comme des Garçons ribbon neck shirt, and also the undercover knee slit jeans. For this one, I went a bit of a different way, going into more sort of formlessness. Maybe you could even call them androgynous clothing. Really, really drapey. So let's have a look. First up, I picked up this very, very long tee. It has a little pocket and also has these details here that you can either button this side up or keep it open. I really, really like this top. It's it's super long though, so it does really cover almost everything else it's on with. You can also wear it as a dress, but I really, really enjoy it and it's a good it's a good layering piece, honestly. Next up is another long top, not as long as the other one. It has a very, very wide neck and these button details along the sides that you can actually open or close as you wish. The front is a little bit shorter than the back, but I really like the effect this top has and is definitely one of my favorites. I wear this quite a bit and recently as it's getting colder, I'm using it to layer over things. My third pickup was actually off a local marketplace, Gumtree, which is a bit of a free for all. Maybe you consider it similar to Craigslist for Americans. But I found this person who was selling a lot of Rick, among other things, very, very cheap. Unfortunately, they had sold out of all the Rick except for maybe a tote bag, which I did pick up, but also eventually got this Vetmon raincoat. I think it's a bit ridiculous. It's all Zodiac themed. This one is for cancer. But it's a legit raincoat and I've never owned one. I got this for $20, which I couldn't really say no to. And I've never had a functioning raincoat. I think the past two raincoats that I've owned, when push came to shove with rain, they displayed signs that they were not raincoats. So I got very, very wet. Like too wet. Like it was gross. Also, I probably should have mentioned that all these black clothes that came in all came in from the same package. I got them all from Japan off a marketplace called Merukari. I will do a guide on how to shop on there because you can find amazing Japanese pieces. Quite affordable on there. I didn't spend all that money for these, so I was pretty happy and I obviously like to help you out too. So next up is a Julius long sleeve long shirt. It's a long one. This almost goes down to the floor, but I did want a long shirt. It's got this really cool high collar that sits up and you can button it up so it sits up there. Very, very Matrix vibes. Uh, Julius is a Japanese brand that kind of is given the, the moniker of like the Japanese Rick Owens. Some clothes really do reflect that and you will see in later pickups that I have. But something like this, I love. And the only thing is that the neck can be a bit annoying to style with. And in future, I'd like to get something that maybe is a little shorter, still a long shirt, but with a regular collar. And the last pickup are these Yoji Yamamoto Black Scandal Hakama style pants. They're very, very wide. Uh, they go down maybe to my shins and kind of look like a skirt from afar. But these absolutely slap. They feel so nice. They feel so freeing to wear. Honestly, look into getting similar style pants because they're so comfortable. I love these pants and they, I pff, love them. All right, so let's get into some looks. And as usual, I've incorporated these with items that I've had previously on this series. Nothing more recent, just to kind of show the evolution of the capsule wardrobe that I am building. Let's have a look.
So thanks for watching. Hope you liked some of the looks that I was able to come up with. It's been super exciting, especially with this. I couldn't retain my excitement when they arrived. I immediately put them on, took a bunch of photos and it was like, damn, like maybe I'm starting to figure something out. And hopefully this is reflecting with the looks and the styles here. So I'm really enjoying building this wardrobe and sort of evolving my style with it. We'll be back with the next video soon and seeing what came next. So thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves, have fun. And as always, don't do anything I do.